someone who uh, just uh, second season in Lithuania. So how do you feel? How do you like this country, this type of game in this country, uh, teammates, just overall your impression? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's my second season here. Like you said, I'm getting familiar with, uh, with the league, with the people and everything. Um, and, I, and I like it, you know, the, especially this year with this team, the, the chemistry that we have with the guys uh, and really the whole team is just, it's always good when you have a nice chemistry. Uh, wins or losses, you still have a, a good time and a good atmosphere. So that's really important for me because obviously the season is long. Um, so yeah, overall, I think uh, I have a really good, um, I'll have positive memories about this place. Uh, who is the, the biggest atmosphere creator in the locker room? I guess a little bit of, of everybody, I guess, because uh, we have a lot of foreigners, obviously, and not just uh, American. Like I'm, I'm Belgium, we have Australia, we have Colombia, we have, we have America too. And it, it's, it's, it's actually a very fun mix. And then you have the Lithuanian guys that are really cool. And so we just mix in with everybody is, is different. So I think it's just a little bit of everybody bringing their own stuff into the, into the mix. Okay, well, let's come back to the, to the start of the season when you decided to go here, uh, to go to Yonava. Uh, for your coach, Virginio Sheshkos, it was a really big victory to, to bring you here. But for you, actually, it wasn't your dream to play in Yonava. It wasn't your first decision, first, um, first choice. So how did it came uh, that you came here? Uh, well, you know, as you know, with, with everything that's been going on in the past years now, past, you know, two years, couple months, you know, the market is tough, obviously, in basketball. Um, I had a couple options uh, last summer, but not a lot, and not something that I was really interested into. And so, uh, you know, I decided to come here because I thought that I already knew the league, I already knew what I could do. Um, I didn't know the coach much, but, you know, I knew the kind of um, team I was going to get into. You know, it was a team that was coming from second division to play in the first league, and I kind of, I really kind of like that challenge to, to come as an underdogs and you know nobody really expecting you to do anything. Um, so I, th I, I kind of like those challenges for me uh, in my career, and so that that was a that was a that was um, I guess that was a point that made me sign here also. Okay, and now half the season passed. So how is that challenge uh, now looks like for uh, looks for you? Uh, it's been it's been going. I would say overall it's been going good. Although we had a, a lot of ups and downs, starting from obviously injuries. Uh, remember uh, November, December, tough injuries from many players, including me. Hard to come back 100 uh, percent because we had a really good start of the season. I remember uh, we was really really good, and then you know that kind of broke our momentum. Uh, so, like I say, that created a lot of, you know, big ups and downs. You know, the season is long, obviously, but right now, if we have to look back to where we are right now in the standing, the way what we've been doing, what we accomplished, I would say that it's pretty good. Which game is uh, the most important? Maybe not important, but. Uh... Uh, that you always remember playing in Yonava. Maybe it was the first game against Ralgiris in this arena? Yeah, for sure. The, I was, I was going to say the first game for sure because uh, before that I hadn't played with fans. Uh, and so the first game it was like fans can come back. First game at home, never played. Uh, you know, against Ralgiris, obviously the best team and sold out, sold out arena. Plus, on top of that, we're really putting up a really good fight uh, as a first game. So, yeah, that was a really, really fun game that we really competed against the best team till the end. Um, so, yeah, that's definitely one of my best memories here. Personally, for you, maybe there is uh, additional energy boost when you're playing against top teams in LKL. Yes, for sure. I think with me overall anyway, I just those games just push me more, uh, gives me a lot of motivation when 
when I when I play against big teams. Uh, and yeah, this year too, when you play against teams like Jalgiris, Saritas, and all all those teams, for me it's it's a it's an extra motivation. It's it's another boost that that um, that you know kind of light the fire. Maybe you want to prove uh, who you are to those teams. Maybe you are, I don't know, maybe dreaming to to play in Ritas or Jalgiris one day. Um, you know, when you play against big teams like the EuroLeague or Champions League, whatever, it's always good. You always want to show who you are and what you're capable of doing. Uh, so that's always been my story, obviously. Uh, since I started playing, I always want to show that, you know, I can be part of the best, that I'm one of the best. Um, so, yeah, that's my motivation as soon as I step on the court, especially against those big teams. And obviously playing in those teams is, would be also obviously a, a great accomplishment. Uh, this is your already third year in Europe, uh, first first season. Yeah, yeah. But this is sixth team. Uh, how how it came? Uh, you don't like to stay in one place or just try something new every year? What what is the reason? Um, well, I guess that's a good question. Um, some some of the some of the teams I've I did it was I had to change because of COVID. <laughs> Um, and then I've had like um, like a month or two month contract where you just play and do whatever and then you have to find other teams so it's kind of that was kind of out of my control and other places where I felt like I needed a change of or the situation wasn't right for me so I decided to change so I guess it's a mix of both uh, but yeah it's been a it's been a long uh, a long three years already uh, with a lot of teams so what you prefer more, playing in Europe or in the United States? <laughs> uh, I guess it depends where. <laughs> and uh, but um, I think if you find the right situation in Europe, it could be it could be great. Obviously, you know uh, the fans are are, are amazing here. Um, and yeah, I think I think it's all about finding the right situation. It doesn't really matter the place, Europe or U.S. It just matters of you know, where you feel, where you could be yourself the most and um, contribute to a, to a system that you like. Uh, this is almost the top player years uh, for you now as a basketball player. What is your goal uh, in the five years uh, to play, I don't know, as you say, in EuroLeague team or uh, come back to United States, find a team somewhere? Um, over five years, I would say definitely try and play EuroLeague for sure. Uh, I think as, a, as a, a European player, you know, that's kind of a dream of, of us all. Uh, obviously, love watching EuroLeague, great level, great players, uh, very tough. So yeah, that's, that, that, that's for sure, that would be for sure my goal. If you think five years from now, I'd, I'd, be, I'd be really happy to, to reach this goal. Which is your favorite team in Euroleague? Uh, favorite team in Euroleague? I'm not gonna say because I played, you know, I played against Real Madrid, uh, Barcelona, Basconia. I can't say any of this team is my favorite team because I used to play against them. But I'm just a basketball fan, really. And like all those teams, even Jalgiris, um, I remember back in the days when they reached Final Four. Uh, it was an amazing team. I mean, who wouldn't like this team? I'm just a basketball fan. I like to and I like to watch all teams, especially players there. So I don't really have a particular team. Okay. And talking about the coaches, uh, maybe you have your favorite one or dream that you could teach something from him to to be in his team. Uh, that's hard to say because you don't really know a coach until you <laughs> you play for him, right? Yeah. So it's but like... maybe you heard something from other players or just see how he reacts, how he. Uh, play uh, during the game? Um, not really. I've never really heard anything. I've, the, 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 the thing you always hear about a coach is that he's really tough, really strict. Like, so and those obviously often some of the best coaches like coach uh, Jaras in Barcelona, you hear all types of things and you know, it would be great obviously to, to play under these guys because they have so much experience and knowledge. But you know, it's always a question mark. You never know until you really play for them. 
you you talk maybe with Lithuanians about the Sharas in Barcelona. Maybe they they told you something about him. Yeah, yeah. They, I mean, obviously, they, everybody's a great fan of uh, of Coach Sharas, obviously. Uh, so yeah, you hear a couple things and how <laughs> crazy he gets, but also how really smart he is, and you know what he's done in coaching. I think his resume speak for itself. So. Um, yeah, it's, all, it's always interesting and then you watch the game and stuff and you see how great his team is playing and the difference with him now and before and yeah, you kind of just kind of just watch and, and learn. Shara is showing uh, a lot of his emotions during the game. Also Virginius uh, Sheshko uh, doing the same. Uh, what did you hear about Sheshko uh, before coming to Lithuania? or before coming to, to this team? Um, not much. I just heard about one player that I had played before that he told me that, you know, he was a, was a good coach, that he had coached, he has a lot of experience uh, and all that stuff. But I didn't hear much, to be honest. Uh, and then when I came here, obviously, you know, people telling me how emotional he gets during the game and stuff. Uh, but that overall, uh, most people has had uh, good experiences with him and how good of a coach he is. So, um, yeah. Before uh, before a month on the interview, you said that Sheshkus is the only one uh, uh, in Lithuania that kind of coach. So, what what kind of coach? Can you tell me more? Um, I would say you know unconventional. In, in the game, anything can happen with him because, you know, he gets emotional um, and anything can happen. He, he makes decisions that he's always going to try to the win. He's not going to do something just to do it. He's going to always try to, to do something um, unconventional, whether it's before the game or during the game or after the game. He's going to try to keep it simple and that we all follow the game plan. And, and yeah, it, I, th I think his way to talk to people is just very direct and you know very uh, yeah i would say emotional and and sometimes you for sure need that in a team it, it feels good to say how you really feel to somebody and to, to talk directly like that you are uh, in the top 10 players in the league uh, by the efficiency uh, what does it mean for you it means a lot because obviously i want to be <laughs> The, the most uh, efficient guy I can be for the team because it's good to score and even to have assist or whatever but or to play a lot but it's better to be efficient and obviously that's something that I really look at I'm always trying to stay the most efficient I can be for my team. Uh, past two months you got the MVP of the month uh, the first one, you said it's, it's really important. Uh, what about second? Maybe about third, uh, that upcoming? I don't know. Uh, it is important for a player. Sometimes players say saying that, oh, the personal, uh, the personal gifts are, are not so important. Just need to think about the team performance. No, I think I think it's important if you do it the right way. Uh, and I for sure think that I did it the right way, meaning that. I was. I gave everything uh, for my team uh, when when they needed me, and it came that I did. Uh, I'm, I had some great individual performances, but I did it in a way where I put the team's needs first, which is getting a win. And so I've been trying that. We were on a really good streak, and um, yeah, I think that it's not everything. I think I think it's a result of what you actually manifest on the court. So uh, yeah, good. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Manu.